Mm, g'day Tragic here, welcome back to Pathfinder, this is the Elven Entanglement, we are in round two and let's get going, round two, let's get going, I can speak English, let's advance the blessing deck and ya bam, what you got for us? Ah, oh, Corrupted Crusaders, this is my favourite of the barriers so far, basically all we need to do is fight a corrupted soldier, and at this stage of the game, they've got no bonuses to their combat, it's just nine to defeat, so very very easy as it gets higher up it's twice the scenario adventure deck number so if we're on scenario three it's actually plus six to the combat so these guys probably get pretty hardcore later on but for now it's just a nine combat so we've got a mace that gives us a what uh also we get the chance of drawing an ally what have you got for us team stuff yeah so we've got the mace that is a d10 plus two and we also get the d8 okay so we only need nine to win hopefully we'll roll a nine. Oh, beautiful we get a 12 so that is a win we get to keep the teamster and we keep the mace your blammo Okay, so we've got a frog and we've got a teamster left. Uh, I think the chances of getting two barriers in a row are pretty low. So let's expand with the teamster. Explore, I should say. Out comes a scale mail. Very nice. So that is a uh, constitution eight. Goblamo. Yoink. Oop, that's a fail. And now let's explore with the frog. Oh, Pitborn Scoundrel. Before you act, if you are the only character at your location, which we are, he deals 1d4 minus 1 damage. Yeah, blam. That's two damage. Pity we didn't get that scale armor, but we do have the full plate. Recharge to reduce combat damage by four. And we can reduce this because it says 1d4 combat damage. So that's all good. Okay, let's just, oh, let's just do it clear. Now we're gonna do two plus a d10 plus a d8. But I think I'm actually also going to discard this. That's going to give us another D4. And I'm also going to shuffle Dohan back in. This will give us... Put this card on top of your deck to add 1D8 plus the scenario's adventure deck number to your combat. So the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to be able to put him back on the table to, move, to use the move ability. So this is just a free D8 every combat, basically. Bam, we should hopefully get this. We need 12 and we get 20. So that is a pass. Okay, yunk. And we draw one, two, three, four. Beautiful, we keep get another sword. Sword's actually better because it's got slashing. We've got a retainer. We've got a blessing of shacks. It's a good hand. Okay, what's going on over here, you blammo? This guy's at the guard post, so he has to start off by fighting, not the tree, he fights the the soldier to begin with. And of course, we've got his iconic hero weapon, which is crazy powerful for this level of the game. So that's a d12 plus 1 plus 2 d6s to roll a 9. If we don't get this roll, then there is something wrong. I'm going to blame the RB... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to roll over to one, but even if it ro even if we rolled a one, we still would have made it. Whatever. The point is, we've beaten him, so that's the end of that. And now we can do our explore. Wooden shield. That's just a Constitution Fortitude, which in this case is a six plus two. So we just need a two or better. And we got a new shield. Okay, so we don't really want this shield because it's uh, it's all his weapons are two-handed. 
and we have no way of actually drawing anything else into our hand. So I'm going to discard this and I'm going to discard this and that's going to allow us to draw one more card. Okay, next is... Ah, now we've closed this location last turn. So I did check up on the, the, the Geek forums. This guy's ability, actually it's written up here because it's been... When any character defeats a henchman from a location deck, return this card to the box to allow that character to automatically close. That's the keyword here, automatically. So automatically close means that it bypasses the normal closing uh, requirements. So for example, I didn't need to summon and defeat a corrupted henchman. Uh, I didn't need to draw a card and bury a card to close the cemetery because it was closed by Vince. Okay, so let's uh, flick over to the Watchtower. This is, you may summon and defeat a random monster instead of the normal check to acquire a boon. That's all right. So let's explore. What you got for us? Sickle, it's got slashing as well, that's good. Melee eight and three, we should get this. You only need to roll a two. Yoink. Uh, yep, we get that in hand. Um, so, I think I'd like to use the recruit to do another explore. What you got for us? Oh, sweet dragon costume. I act This is actually one of the few uh, promo cards that I actually physically own. Awesome. Sweet dragon costume. What a great name. It's a great card to reveal this card to reduce fire damage dealt to you to zero then roll a 1d12 that's freaking awesome anyway whatever the point is it's light armor it's dragon it's mythic and it's only a constitution fortitude five so we have an eight plus one so we only need to roll a four off an eight come on oh we almost hit a seven that is a terrible fail Okay, so that's about that. Let's grab the next one. Explore. Oh, I really wanted that thing. Ooh, Carrion Golem. Level 14. You may not play spells that have the attack trait. Before you act, discard the top card of your deck. Yoink. Oh, we lose our awesome scale mail. As long as we don't lose our cure, I'm happy. Uh, okay, we need 14, and he doesn't do combat damage. He makes us discard cards. So we need 14 to kill this guy. That's actually quite a hefty amount. We have a D8 plus 1, 2, 3. If undefeated, discard the top two. No, I think that's in addition to the standard damage. If undefeated, discard the top two cards of your deck. So normally it says instead of. This doesn't say that. It just says, if it's undefeated, do this. So we still get normal combat damage. I'm going to use the heavy pick, but I'm also going to discard it. That gives us a D6 plus an additional D6 and any sevens, uh, any sixes are counted as sevens. Come on. Whoa, we get 16, 17, because that is a six. Nice. Okay, so that's the end of that. Discard, I'm gonna keep both these things. Let's draw another two cards. Ah, there's our cure and our helm, excellent. Okay, so now we have The Wounded Lands, what have we got here? When you encounter a Bane, you may not play allies. So we're not allowed to play allies on Banes here. But these guys are cohorts so that we can play them. Now, at the start of your turn, you may search your deck or your discard pile for a cohort. Let's pull Valus back into our hand. Now we do have a Fire Blade. The thing is we've already got Vince, so there's no point in summoning the tree. So let's... Uh, 
Let's just explore. Yeah, bam. What you got for us? Exorcism kit. That is a divine wisdom eight. We have divine, which is eight plus one. Ooh, and I've got to advance the blessing deck, of course. Six, seven. That is not a pass. Oh well, what a bummer. Oh well, let's do the blessing. Uh, let's check no corruption. Yoink. Retainer. Charisma Diplomacy 4. We have a Charisma of a D4. So, chances of getting this are pretty low. 1 in 4, in fact. Assuming, you know, oop, we get a 3. That's no good. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this turn. Okay, discard your blammo. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's discard this guy and then draw two beautiful because at the end of our turn we can choose to discard any card and as long as and we can just pull this guy straight out of our discard pile because of her ability of being able to search for cohorts okay so we haven't had a particularly great turn this turn what do you got for us? Explore. Codex. It's a knowledge test. We should be able to get this because we have a D12 plus 3 for knowledge. Bam. Yep. Oh, oh, we still get a 4, but we need an 8. No good. Um, Let's have a quick look at... This location has two barriers, and I don't think we've gotten any barriers yet. Actually, I did. I think we have gotten one barrier. I'm going to use the frog anyway, just in case we get another barrier coming. Oh, it's a dire rat. These are pretty easy. We just have to do a combat of eight. Very easy to murder. Boom. And I believe we have a spell in our thing. We do. Frigid Blast. Let's pull it out. Because... Every time we cast a spell, we get to recharge a spell from our discard pile randomly. But there's only one card in there, so just, I just grabbed it. Okay, so that's a D12 plus 1 plus 2. Your blammo. And hopefully, you need an 8. It's 11, so that's a pass. And now I need a 6 to keep it. Not that it matters. Oh, 3. So that's a... A discard. Okay, you blammo. Let's. Ooh, so here's the question. I can do another explore, but I have no spells in hand at all. And that's not very good. So I think I'm actually going to discard both of. I'm going to discard Wing of Climbing. And I'm going to draw a new hand. One, two, three. Give us a spell. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some gas back on our hand. Ugh. And the last one. This one here, when you explore, examine the top two cards and shuffle one into the deck. Man, I'll tell you what, she should have this thing. After you shuffle a location deck, reveal this card to examine the top card of that deck. I've completely screwed up by having the Ring of Climbing in the wrong person's deck. Hmm. Okay, so whatever. Uh, we explore twice. Oh, and there's the bad guy. Okay, we have no one at Molten Pool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle that back into this deck. And I'm going to rotate it on its side so we know that that is where the deck is. That's where the enemy is. We've got a cure in hand. So that's just a, a, a wisdom check to see if we get that cure into our hand, which hopefully we definitely will. Thank you. And now... We need to decide what to do next. 
I don't think there's any reason to actually go into there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. This is... So what to do now? We know that this is where the monster is. We know that we have Vinced in hand. So we can close another location pretty easily. This one here has only got five cards in it. Hmm. This is a hard one. Maybe I should move her over here. There's two monsters, three barriers. Now she does have burst bonds in her hand to allow her to avoid a barrier. And she's also got cures and everything, which means she can heal the damage here. When any character at this location would dealt damage, that character's dealt fire damage instead. And right, so at this here we are. At the start of your turn, you are dealt one fire damage. So there's one damage every turn. It's a real shame we didn't get that uh, dragon costume. So I think. I think we're actually going to send her over there. So if we can close one more, how do you close this thing? Your dealt amount of fire damage equal to one plus a scenario's number. This one's closed by fighting a soldier. This one's closed by banishing a weapon. This one's closed by a check, divine check. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to send her over here, actually. We'll send Sheila to there. I'm not quite sure what to do. She can't move at the end of her turn anyway, so I don't even know why I'm what I'm doing here. Anyway, that is the end of that round. Didn't do too great, wasn't too bad. But uh, at least we did found the villain. So we know they're in there. And not too hard to dig out because you've got to draw you can draw two cards at a time. So that shouldn't be too hard to find again. Especially if Honora does it because she can, every time the location deck is shuffled, she can examine the top card of the deck. Very, very cool. Let's, uh, well, that's it. I will see you guys in the